an angel. I'm an angel. Despite what he may say, Daniel Radcliffe had his fair share of bloopers filming the Harry Potter movies. Get a snake and turn it into a whip! <laughs> Considering he grew up on the magical set, the boy who lived experienced plenty of fumbles and poorly timed giggling fits. From fun behind the scenes to hilarious mistakes on set, none of us quite have any idea what's going on. Radcliffe made sure mischief was managed. <laughs> Before he even landed the role of Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe's adorable giggle was captured by the crew in his audition where a prop broke the young actor's concentration. Chris Columbus broke a rear leg. Oh, uh oh. And made me laugh. <laughs> it was a pretty great audition since luckily the actor's personality shone through and the team knew they'd found their Harry Potter. Even when he was flubbing up and laughing, Radcliffe nailed the essence of the boy who lived. Apparently, nothing could shake the young actor while he was filming the very first Harry Potter film. While Radcliffe may not have been phased by the world of the film, Harry Potter did need to be. So sometimes, the director would have actors like Warwick Davis trying to surprise the actor so they could really capture a reaction. Make him jump. The young actor definitely wasn't scared in this case. He just burst out laughing. <laughs> Evidently, working with child actors can be tricky. Daniel Radcliffe has had one very special trick up his sleeve since the first film that apparently was his secret to acting. Why exactly was he so good at such a young age? A good liar. Don't admit that. Is that why you're a good actor? Yes. Even when he wasn't performing for the camera, it seems he was entertaining the crew on set. Just couldn't believe my name was Daniel Radcliffe and it was on the credits list. It was amazing. It was unbelievable. Whether it was another actor or just his own actions, the Harry Potter actor got bumped around quite a bit on set for the second film. Lucius Malfoy actor Jason Isaacs got a little too excited with his walking stick. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, love. Leaving a young Radcliffe totally vulnerable. As if being knocked over by Isaacs wasn't bad enough, Radcliffe was the one who brought on his other on-set bump, as he was flailing around when goofing off between takes. With so many young actors on set, behind the scenes was filled with fun and, on occasion, some pretty great pranks. One of the absolute best came from the adult cast members. We enter completely our own world, you know. Alan Rickman and Michael Gambon took advantage of the fact that many of the young actors were in sleeping bags for a scene in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. They had put a fart machine into my sleeping bag. Even though Gambon tried to go on with his lines as usual, no one was able to keep it together on set. The Dumbledore actor was pulling double duty since while he was acting, he was also the one controlling the machine going off. They all may have gone down in their harnesses in sync, but Radcliffe had a bit of a harder time getting back up. Evidently, it was a struggle for the actor to figure out exactly how to maneuver himself as well. It seems pretty in character for the actor to have this not-so-suave moment. Although considering how much time he spent in the air on a broomstick playing Quidditch, we are a bit surprised that the simple harness life was a struggle. Whoops. Radcliffe had his reasons for stepping on some toes while filming scenes for the Yule Ball. The actor didn't get close to the amount of dance lessons and rehearsal as his castmates because he was busy filming all his other adventurous scenes in the fourth film. This is my big dance day. However, according to the actor, the skill level wasn't due to lack of training. Instead, his missteps were on purpose because it was a character choice. I'm actually a really fantastic dancer, but because Harry's not very good, I felt I should play it down. While we're not totally convinced, Radcliffe absolutely pulled off his dance moves, even if it wasn't the most impressive dancing. By the time the fourth film came around, Daniel Radcliffe was showing off his skills with very impressive stunts. I am the last of the action heroes. But the actor couldn't always keep it professional and rock a straight face. While he performed this daring major stunt flawlessly, the illusion was broken almost immediately after landing when Radcliffe completely corpsed. 
If we were him, we'd probably be crying instead of laughing after an intense stunt like that. After working together for so many years, Rupert Grint and Daniel Radcliffe were often cracking up when they were together on set. Even in serious scenes, Grint couldn't hold it together trying to defend Harry. <laughs> Just shut your mouth. No one could take either of them seriously as they burst into fits of giggles. Considering this was the fifth film many of these actors worked on together, it's no surprise they were like a family on set. Kissing in front of a whole bunch of cameras and people watching is intimidating to say the least. So it's not a surprise that Radcliffe and Katie Leung shared a few laughs while trying to capture their romantic kiss over and over and over again. At one point, it seemed like everything imaginable was getting in their way. All that awkward smooching didn't stop Radcliffe from sneaking in an extra kiss with his co-star, though. I love kiss you enough today, but I feel like that's a. By the way, this was the Harry Potter actor's very first on-screen kiss. A person might think it would take a lot to catch one of the greatest wizards of all time off guard, but apparently, if you're Daniel Radcliffe, all you've got to do is step on Dumbledore's robes to stop him moving and the whole scene from being filmed. To be fair, the robes do leave quite the trail. While Ron and Hermione did their best to support Harry, figuratively and literally, it didn't always work out. Capturing this scene definitely took a few takes, and probably way more stepping on Rupert Grint's head than he would have liked. Sometimes the simplest tasks become the most tricky to film, like just getting up and walking away. Considering just how much work Radcliffe did filming The Half-Blood Prince, even doing small bits like this scene in the dining hall could end up being a struggle. The walk away never even made the final cut, so who knows if the actor ever nailed it at all. Poor Radcliffe wound up with some pain as a result of acting opposite Emma Watson. The actress got a bit too into character, and the Harry Potter actor wasn't able to ignore the very, very real pain he was feeling. You're laughing because you hit me so hard, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this flub meant the take couldn't be used, so they were forced to continue rolling until they nailed the shot, preferably in a way that didn't further injure Radcliffe. While Fleur de la Cour actress Clémence Poésy might have been knowledgeable about how to remove a bra, Daniel Radcliffe was in need of some pointers when he played Fleur disguised as himself. Bra's not coming off. While he may not have been able to take the clothing on and off simply, he did love getting to dress in it. I look fantastic in women's clothing. We just love seeing how fun all those years on set were for the Harry Potter actor. The cast and crew had become like family, which was a major contributor to how great a time everyone had behind the scenes. Which blooper is your favorite? 